Hello there. It's Sunday the 16th of July and uh, I haven't done a tour of the garden for a while. It hasn't been possible because for the last few weeks we've been having temperatures in the 30s, 30 degrees, 31, 32 degrees centigrade and everything's been covered over with fleece so you wouldn't see anything anyway. But uh, it's cooled down a bit now. Now we've had thunderstorms, heavy rain. That's why the plant boxes are here and not on the wall because the wind would blow them off. Um, so without further ado, here we go. So here we have the beet root, which are about the size of golf balls now. Now I've been and spoken and had a look at some of the other gardens around here and their beetroot are just about the same size so they're no better and no worse than mine. Here's the potatoes here growing nicely and up until now no Colorado beetles thank goodness. Here red currants there now becoming ripe and we've started to eat them. Here we have the parsnips. And here the carrots going nicely. Uh, here we've got radish and reddish which is the larger um, slightly stronger than radish and here have my cauliflower we've been eating cauliflower you you can't see them they all have heads you can't see them because we've broken the leaves and covered them over which is recommended and this is the second planting here so hopefully they'll come to something These are cucumbers. Hopefully they'll come to something too. They've not been doing much in the heat, obviously. It's... And these are zucchinis or marrows in English. Lettuce. And this is my comfrey here, which I intend to use for mulching. And here in this actually should be a herb bed. Uh, we had we had a few marrow plants over, so I, I put stuck them in there. Here the uh, blackberries are starting to come. They're not ripe yet. some more lettuce. These are the French beans and here are, was uh, two rows of peas which I've dug this now. Now Charles Dowding wouldn't agree with me here. He's the no dig man in England. A very intelligent man. I respect his uh, views I don't necessarily agree with them <laughs> what he would do is put about a foot of, uh, of compost or mulch down here and just leave it for the winter and let the worms and the insects do the rest but I, I've dug it over the brassicas will be coming here next year here are the peas we do have peas we have been eating peas some more radish or reddish I can't remember which and there's some uh, coal plants, brassicas, cabbage plants been planted there in the middle of this lot here. With the bees, the wild bees and the insects here on the lavender. There's butterflies. Yeah. Um, kohlrabi, we have two sorts. The normal small ones. And the larger, I hope you can see this, 
the larger super smelts which which are a an f1 hybrid and you'd think they'd be very tough but they're not they're not they're quite uh, quite soft and sweet yeah so i think that's about it there you have it thank you for watching and see you all again soon